boundary line. He'll fancy himself he's, from here. He's a brilliant kick, but he will dead set bring the grandstand down if he spreads right. it from there. You're right. And a couple are leaving over the fence, letting him know about it. Wouldn't there be some advice given at the moment? In the meantime, it's a 50 minute. Oh, oh dear. Against Villa on Brody Holland at half forward there. Well, this could be a turning point in the game. Now, does it bring him round in front of goal? It does. Well, he was inside 50, so yeah. Mind you, he would have been kicking from about 50 out when it happened, so uh, a gift goal. A gimme goal. Davis gets it, Collingwood hangs on. Mick Davis gets his second goal, he kicked one in the first. Things getting very tight, and I uh, would like to be a fly on the wall in the Richmond box at the moment. I think they'd be wondering where their next goal is going to come from and who's going to provide it for them. Ottens has come back on, he's going to the ruck in the middle of the ground. They just need someone to push the ball forward. Back in 1977, 92 and a half thousand fans saw these two sides battle it out in a home and away clash. We've got almost 79,000 here and it's only round four. Now I know you'll say, people will say from everywhere I was there that day, but I was one who was there that day. Where? Yep, came in along to that one. 77. 77. Okay, important out of the middle. Buckley off to Johnson. Collingwood has the momentum towards Richardson. He's a thumping kick. I don't reckon he can make it from here, but he'll at least put it in a real hot zone. He's got Malloy one out. And oh, here he lead. comes. Here he comes. Well, this is amazing. This could reduce the margin to one point. You wouldn't have believed it in three-quarter time. The Tigers were home and hosed. The one, thing, points. the one thing Malloy has had is a bit of a problem in front of goal tonight. He's kicked one goal, two. Should have kicked three straight. Boy, does he need this one. Roar of the crowd will tell us. Directly in front, 40 metres out. Kicks him when it matters. He's got it. <laughs> this is unbelievable. He's got his second. Collingwood have kicked as many goals so far in this quarter as they had in the first three. They have stopped to an absolute walk, the Tigers. They just can't get their hands on the footy. They're getting dominated out of the middle, which hasn't happened all night. And you can just see the crowds come into it. The players are feeling the pressure. And a great pass from Richardson. Terrific pass into Malloy. The Tigers by a point after they started this final quarter, leading by 33. And I reckon the phone calls coming out of the Richmond hierarchy box there down to the bench saying just how bad is Brendan Gale because when he's out of the centre, Collingwood take it away. Fraser looking for someone again. Socket out of the air, up towards the half ball line, but chopped off by the Paris. He just attacked the ball. Rupert's away, off to Wakeland. But nobody to kick to. So he's got to run and he got caught just a couple of minutes ago. Didn't have too many options either then as Cameron swings around. Kicks back to half four, but straight under the chest of Batheris again. He gives it away to Loney. Collingwood finishing, puller running. But he's got no one up to kick to. That's what the problem is at the moment. Yeah, they all clutch back to the half-back line to give support. A great pick-up. That's a great pick-up by Richardson on the half volley. Swings around now, looks to half forward. Otten's the spoiler from behind. No, he's got the height and takes the mark. First touch in the spoil. There's Brendan Gale on the bench. Gregor said it's next to him. And it's going to be tough to score here. Richardson, if he can get a super long kick over. Here's Cameron. Richardson, the fly. He covered, recovers well. Pops it over the top to Hilton. Went one way, then the other. Chips it out in front of Broderick. Put it on your boot. Oh. He does. The tying is steady. Broderick gets the goal. Now, Dermot, I've got to tell you, I thought they'd made a mess of that. Yeah. Hilton put a handball first to his right. Never doubted the ball. His hand was left, but he went to chip kick. And then when Paul Broderick did get on the end of it, I thought he was going to take too long. Have a look at Hilton here. He could go either side. He's got players everywhere. And then he decides to kick instead yeah. of handball. And did he take a while, Paul Broderick? <laughs> Well, 
Dermott's got his wish. Brennan Gale back on the ground. But, but he's, he's not in the middle. No. Broderick scoped the goal. That's important for Tiger fans. He just moved on to him. Fresh, le fresh air legs there. But Gale just read that one, knowing your teammate's ability. He read it well, Dermott. Did you see the mark? Hit him, him flush on the golf. Hit, hit him flush on the bush. He got, <laughs> he got the three purchase points. Got on each hand and golf. Let's see what he does from 48 metres. He's poked it. Go across the face. That's oh, it. here's Broderick again. Broderick! That could be it. Going for all the on screen, rips the top off of Mount Franklin and just takes a long gutter.